Um, just then, um, I just want to start off and ask you about, you know, the actual kind of the visual sort of language of the film because, like, obviously J.J. Abrams, he had a very specific uh, idea in mind, and you coming into that, I mean, did you find that inhibitive trying to work within what he created, or? No, I mean, I think uh, you know, as a filmmaker, we all have our own points of view and, and style, you know, and I, I felt like it was uh, appropriate. I, I didn't have to try to be different. You know, this film reflects who I am, what I think the you know it should feel and look like. You know, I mean, JJ's films. You know, you really it was the origin story, and you really got to know the character. And when you were in the uh, Enterprise, it, it felt like a brand new ship. Yeah. And I think here we were picking up with 966 days into the five year sure, mission. Sure. Yeah. So I, I really want to get a sense of of these characters floating in space, and that and and the ship is you know. It's a little used, you know, yeah. and so to really kind of d develop that aesthetic, it, it was very important to me. And the sense also that, you know, it's very easy to frame things, but in space, what is up, what is down, um, that that is also very important because I also feel like that reflects where the characters are. Yeah. In terms of, um, you know, not to kind of give the, give the film or anything like, but like I mean, you're kind of hobbling yourself almost from the get go because like you're taking the Enterprise away. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I, I, I interviewed Simon Pegg and he said that he did watch a lot of the old classic episodes. And I mean, did you do any kind of similar research yourself or was it primarily just working off the script? No, no, I, it's interesting because um, I love Star Trek growing up, but my, my engagement with Star Trek was from eight to 18 watching it with my family yeah. of the original series. Um, so I felt like for me, it was really about kind of trying to to capture the essence of what, what made it great, you know. Um, but then there'd be moments where um, I remember uh, Simon had sent a, uh, a picture of uh, of him and the like, alien from um, Carbonite Maneuver. Yeah. And there, you know, it was a funny picture he sent yeah, to yeah. Doug. And uh, I, I looked at it and I thought it was funny, but then it something triggered me, and I I remember there was a Captain Kirk address to the crew. And I hadn't seen that episode since I was probably a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't even remember it, but seeing that picture somehow, so it, it really just reminded me that, you know, a lot of Star Trek, even subconsciously, is in me. Yeah. In terms of, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, the original episodes and the whole kind of tech, that's a part of the texture. But, I mean, were there any films outside of Star Trek that maybe you kind of watched to give yourself a little bit of a creative edge or buzz or anything like that? Not really. I mean, I the one thing I, I have to say, though, is that um, I think cinema, and especially kind of sci-fi cinema, it, the aesthetic has really kind of evolved to yeah. a point where it's very slick. And it, it, it almost, it, for me as a fan, like sometimes it's a little hard to tell what's what or the other because CGI now is so advanced. And so a lot of camera moves feels very similar. Mm. And I, I wanted to make sure that, you know, we have a unique look and feel. Yeah. You know, I, I think the idea of, of making Star Trek, even though you're in a foreign, you know, planet, you're way out in space, but to make it feel the, the tactile nature yeah. of life, that was very important to me. Yeah. Um, in terms of, I mean, what you're doing after this, I mean, have you anything specific in mind? Have any, I mean, would you, are you interested in doing the next Star Trek? Or? Um, I, I'm in a great place. I, I, I wasn't even, you know, I was prepping to do another movie when JJ called. And, uh, you know, I, I feel very fortunate. You know, I came from the indie world when, you know, 14 years ago, yeah. I didn't know anybody and had to use credit cards to make the movie. And now I, I get, I have a lot of opportunities, you yeah. know, and and whether it's TV, film, I just, I just want to keep growing. And uh, I can't wait for July 23rd because at that point I'll probably make a couple decisions. Um, but until then, I, I'm really just, I just finished this film and I, I'm very proud of it and I can't wait to kind of share it with everybody. Yeah.